We're in Portsmouth. Hello, adventurers. Walking around Portsmouth looking for a good place to paint. It's a beautiful day. All right, start now with a paint sketch. I wanted to get the steeple in my painting because it's a landmark in Portsmouth. And it's a distant point in my painting which I think will draw a lot of space, creating depth. So here I'm mixing a desaturated pinky brown color for the top of a building that's right next to the sky. money in the meter. I am overdue. I hope I didn't get a ticket. Well, I didn't get a ticket. Yay! Back at the studio. All parts of the painting are important to be considering when starting a painting, but the sky and the general color balance throughout the painting are what I consider first. The value of the sky will determine a lot of the values for the rest of the painting, so it's really important to get this part right, and so I usually start with it. I generally try to start working a painting from the background to the foreground. So you can see that I, after I finished with the sky, I was trying to get the road, a little bit of the shadow that's in the road, and also the buildings on the right because they're right in front of the white steeple. And I'm leaving the foreground until a bit later. And I know that the foreground should be darker and have more contrast than the other pieces of this composition, and that'll really help to create depth. Always remember that when you're painting, you're creating an illusion. So a lot of times you have to consider your subject matter in front of you as a reference, but always be understanding that you're responsible for creating the effects of light and of depth that you see in the real world on a two-dimensional surface. So I might be desaturating some colors in the background, making them a little bit more blue, uh, maybe even creating some tonal variations that will help draw them back or draw them forward in the composition. So I sort of have everything blocked in now. Now I'm just going through and maybe adding a little, a little bit of helpful color notes, helpful details keeping in mind that this is a plain air painting and so I have to hurry and I have to get as much information that I won't be able to get from a photo reference when I get back to the studio. I'm really focused on color when I'm out plain air painting. Color and value. Because I can always fine tune the actual drawing uh, when I get back to the studio and I have a photo reference to work from. You can really see how that black awning really jumps out and separates itself from the background. And I think the black awning is a really important part of what makes this painting successful. But there's also the tonal variations in the background, keeping things in the background desaturated and allowing there to be some fuzzy edges.
I love the way that Congress Street serves as the pathway that leads you from the foreground right up to the steeple. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on site. Gonna take this one back to the studio. <laughs>